Alec Don Hardy tells me he not only plans to vigorously push for the revitalization of Kinson as before, but also for the security and safety of the city. It was just tears of joy and, and, and everybody had fun and, you know, and we reaped the benefit. We worked hard, so this is where we are. Meet the new mayor-elect of Kinston, Don Hardy I'm beat two-term incumbent B.J. Murphy in Tuesday's election by about 200 votes. A congratulatory call even from the governor, Roy Cooper. He said he'll be down here real soon and I just wanted to say um, the citizens of Kinston turned out and they spoke volumes uh, when they came out to vote. But celebrations aside, the Navy veteran and former Kinston police officer says he is ready to get to work. Talk to folks we never talked to. Uh, we want to reach out to them and say, hey, uh, what do you think about these, these ideas? We want to build, you know, and, and extend the uh, offer to others, uh, you know, around us. When Hardy officially takes on his new political role, his first time in politics, he will be working with other city leaders like incumbent city councilman and current mayor pro tem Robert Swinson, who was re-elected Tuesday. One side of the town has really done well and we need to focus on the other side of the community as well and hopefully get support from all around to make the community better. So what direction do you want to take the city of Kinston? Uh, the leadership with the city of Kinston, uh, law enforcement personnel, everybody. We have, to, we have to come together and work together and understand each other as a whole. And the city council race was not without intrigue. Crystal Suggs pushed past Nathan Perry for the open council member seat with nine votes. In Kinston, Adoria Chimba for News Channel 12.